What's up gamers, it's that PlayStation Game Gamer coming to you guys with a brand new video. I am coming at you guys with a video that should have been made a week ago and it's probably going to be short just because at the end of the day, uh, my thoughts on this are pretty, you know, obvious. Um, Game Pass s subscription tiers are going up and I am not shocked by that at all. But what I am shocked by is the removal of day and date games on standard Game Pass tier. And personally... I think that's bullshit. I don't think Microsoft should be doing that. I think if they are going to commit to day and date games on Game Pass, they don't need to be playing now behind the $20 a month subscription tier, which, by the way, you can't even pay for a year in advance. No. You just you, you have to pay monthly for the state. And it's like, man, just really arf artificially inflating those numbers, are you, Microsoft? Like, and for the record, as far as the price increase things go, I expect we'll see a price increase with PlayStation Plus maybe later this year or at the beginning of next year. Just because it seems like it's a the semi, you know, annual thing. You know, that we get Christmas, we get Thanksgiving, we get Halloween, we get price increases for subscription to services. Because why the hell would things ever get better? They're just getting worse. But yeah. So... My thoughts are that Microsoft should not be removing day and date, you know, games. Because honestly, I think they should be committing to, you know, happen, you know, try to give the uh, Game Pass standard subscription members the best experience they can. And their idea of doing that is for moving a key feature. And it's just fucking frustrating. It really is. Because, like, you know, I told people a long time ago. I remember saying this to people in public, you know, in private. Don't be surprised if Microsoft removes this shit. And the reason is because it just doesn't make business sense. You know, why Why are we de-incentivizing our players of paying for, you know, $70 games, you know, just to make our subscription service look better, even though basically the subscription service should be able to stand on its own merits, not just, you know, stand because of day and day games. But that's, yeah... Microsoft is doing a, they're doing a stupid move here. And honestly, I, I, I'm not surprised in the slides. Microsoft is going to try everything in their book to, you know, nickel or dime a little bit more cash out of us. Now, don't get me wrong. PlayStation will do the same thing. But at least PlayStation is just sitting there going, well, you could get The Last of Us Part 3 for uh, $20 a month if you subscribe to PlayStation Plus Premium. <laughs> no, it's like, no, if you want to play some old-ass games that are like PSP games that don't look great on an HDTV, you know, hey, pay for that. <laughs> You'll pay 20 bucks a month for that. And, you know, that's its own thing I could talk about. Probably will talk about actually at some point. It's like how PSP games have not been translating well to console or i guess you could say more standard console because been a little eye-opening experience there so until next time guys this is that playstation gamer sign out don't forget to like comment subscribe and all that youtube algorithm bs i'm gonna go play some fucking rise of ronin because god damn it this game's taking too damn long and i'm finishing this bitch this week and i'm determined